Hi friends, this is Sicho from Sicho's Home Economics and you're welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bowman GSP 849 10-place slimline dishwasher. Also, I'm going to show you how I load my dishwasher with 30 dishes at the end of the day. So I first of all start by placing all items facing down. You have to angle them in such a way that they are facing the center of the dishwasher or angled in such a way that the water jets can get to it. The water can be sprayed so that all the items will be properly cleaned. So you can observe in this video, I'm placing all flat utensils or cooking tools at the very top rack. Not all dishwashers come with this third top rack, but they do come with a basket that you can place all cutleries and cooking tools and um, equipment in. But this one comes, comes with a third rack at the top for that purpose. Now the top rack can be pulled out and the height can be adjusted. So as you can see the wheels on this top rack later on in the video i'm going to show you how i adjusted it so that the sprayers or the water jets can function properly i'm also placing my blender my measuring cup the glass bowl at the bottom of the dishwasher ideally all plastics must be placed at the top rack and they must also be dishwasher safe but i have used this bowl many times in this dishwasher and nothing has happened to it so I'm very sure that nothing will happen to it that's why I'm placing it at the bottom rack the plates are also being positioned in such a way that they are angled towards the center of the dishwasher this is all done so that there's the water jets or the sprayers can properly spray water onto every item you have placed in the dishwasher So now I'm done loading the bottom part of the dishwasher and so now the top sprayer on the middle part of the dishwasher is not rotating properly and so in order for it to have enough space to rotate I'm pulling out the top rack and adjusting the height so that there's enough space between the two baskets for the sprayer to function properly. I'm going to let you have a closer look so that's the sprayer or the water jet and so you have to make sure you feel it to see if it's there's nothing in its way just so that the items are properly washed this detergent is called the seventh generation dishwasher detergent which I got from the palace mall that is the only place I have seen it being sold and it's chemical free and so that's what I'm using for this, this cycle. I use a 30 minute cycle um, setting to wash these dishes just to see how well the Bowman um, GSP 849 dish washer works. So now everything is in the dishwasher and I'm quickly tidying up the sink area and washing one or two items that did not make it into the dishwasher this is very very fast and effective way of tidying up if you have a dishwasher it helps clean up and um, to be very fast and effective so it's been 30 minutes and the dishwasher is done I'm, I'm going to show you the results so I'm going to take everything out one after the other so you see how well it's cleaned the items now the items are still wet and that's because I use a 30 minutes cycle which has a very very short drying process which is just about 5 to 10 minutes so it doesn't take too long to dry and so most of the items are still wet but everything is clean as you can see my blender was very dirty it's clean now this bowl was also quite soiled everything is clean and tidy all the, my daughter's bowls bento boxes everything is clean and so I think this um, 
GSP 849 Bowman 10 place dishwasher is very very effective if you're wondering if you should get this dishwasher I would say yes a hundred percent it's very very good and very effective if you're also wondering if you should get a dishwasher at all for your home I would say yes you should because it helps clean up and tidying up fast and effective so thank you so much for watching if you like this video click the like button if you haven't subscribed yet please do so this is Sicho and I'll see you in my next video bye